strongest armies in Africa. A strong army is important in every country. It helps in keeping peace, reinforcing law and order and keeping the boundaries on check. Here are top 10 strongest armies in Africa. At number 1. Egypt Egypt puts itself over the top with regard to military strength due to its sheer size of its armed forces. The North Africa power ranks an impressive top in global rankings. The Egyptian armed forces consist of the Egyptian army, Egyptian navy, Egyptian air force and Egyptian air defense command. Nearly 500,000 personnel serve on its active frontline force, far surpassing all its African counterparts. At number 2. Algeria Algeria has managed to use its large maritime border to its advantage. The country has managed to develop massive military capabilities on land, in air, as well as in the waters. Algeria's active frontline personnel number more than 130,000 troops and it has nearly 2,000 armored fighting vehicles in its disposal. At number 3. South Africa as it hasn't been embroiled in an international military conflict for some time, South Africa uses its highly advanced military for peacekeeping and international cooperation. Its aircraft and naval vessels are notoriously well equipped with the latest technology and through the country, and though the country has 100,000 active frontline personnel, it has the capabilities and manpower for much more. Add that to a vast array of land system technology, the South African military is a force to be reckoned with. At number 4. Nigeria the West African army has been locked in a battle with the Boko Haram insurgency for the better half of the decade. Despite significant gains made in Buhari's first term, there have been a few setbacks in the past year as the army is more trained for conventional warfare rather than guerrilla tactics used by the insurgents. Like Algeria and Egypt, an abundant domestic oil supply eases the financial burden of involvement in military conflict. Nigeria has more than 1,800 armored vehicles, 250 tanks, 6,000 logistical vehicles at its disposal as well as nearly 300 aircraft and 25 high-powered naval vessels. The naval power of the country lags behind compared to the rest of the African counterparts with maritime borders. At number 5. Ethiopia Despite being landlocked and not having the advantages with the top 3, Ethiopia is the only country without a maritime border in the top 5. Ethiopia has focused its resources on developing its army and air force to an impressive degree. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has enjoyed a cordial relationship with the military since gaining power, with military officials having been touring some of the projects. The country has for years experienced internal conflict. The need for strong military has also been a necessity considering the threat of terrorist group Al-Shabaab. At number 6. Angola The Angola Armed Forces has three components, the Army, the Navy and the Air Force. The eggs from what the president called the Golden Goose, oil or the oil reserves, have allowed the South African nation to fund a large military budget. It currently has an active force of up to 100,000 troops, backed by more than 580 armored fighting vehicles, 300 tanks, more than 280 pieces of aircraft, and more than 50 Navy crafts. At number 7, Morocco. Earlier this year, King Mohammed VI made a call for the government to recruit 10,000 Moroccans into compulsory military service this year, and this is set to increase to 15,000. The Royal Army in Morocco has an active force of more than 190,000 personnel at its disposal at 290 aircraft, more than 2,700 armored vehicles, more than 1,100 tanks, and a navy with a fleet of more than 120 assets. The army also kicked off joint military exercise with the US dubbed African Lion which was focused on training it for the fight against violent extremism and terrorism. However, despite its large budget, funding partners such as the US have reported that it remains plagued by corruption and inefficient bureaucracy and low levels of education in the ranks. At number 8, Sudan. Probably the most controversial entry in this year's listings, heroes turned villains. After prolonged protests and a sit-in by protesters at its headquarters, the military toppled long-time ruler Omar al-Bashir. The military of Sudan has an active force of more than 100,000 personnel, 190 aircrafts, 410 combat trucks, more than 400 armored fighting vehicles, and a total of 18 naval assets. Most of this equipment is supplied from Russia and China as the country is under sanctions from Western countries. At number 9, the Democratic Republic of Congo. 
The DRC is home to Africa's second largest population at 86 million people. Blue Helmets and the United Nations Stabilization Mission still have a presence in the country as the country's own forces are not fully ready to handle the peace operations. The security reform of the country began in 2003 after a period of civil war and is still grappling with the efforts to integrate armored non-state actors into national security institutions. There is an active force of 134,000 personnel. Though this is a sizable force, it is still lagging behind in training compared to other forces. At number 10, Libya. There has not been peace and stability in the North African country since the ouster of Muammar Gaddafi. The military has an impressive cachet.